In today's budget brawl, we have four peated blended scotches going head to head. In the first corner, coming in at $20, weighing in at 86 proof, Teacher's Highland Cream. In the second corner, coming in at $29, weighing in at 80 proof, Famous Grouse Smoky Black. In the third corner, coming in at $30, weighing in at 86.8 proof, Kinsey Blended Scotch. And finally, in the fourth corner, coming in at $25, weighing in at 80 proof, Johnny Walker Red Label. The winners of this brawl will face off against future challengers. Let's brawl! Thanks, Joyce. So, as with all of our budget brawls, we're going to go from whiskey A to whiskey D, and then we'll circle back around, do D through A, take some time to do some a, B comparisons, and then we will give our rankings and see which one comes out on top. Let's go ahead and start with whiskey number A. Number A, whiskey letter A, that is peated scotch. Man. <laughs> so it smells very caramely, had definitely smell like peated scotch. Definitely a little caramely here. A little bit of spice on the, on the palate. The peat smoke's there too. And a touch of salt. Yes, I'd agree with that. It's a weird bitterness for me at the end of that one. Like a medicinal, maybe almost iodine finish. It's not super offensive, but it's, it is there, I think. All right, so it's ready to go to whiskey, whiskey B. Whiskey letter B. Whiskey letter B. Oh, this one's way sweeter. More sugar, more caramel. Yeah. More f- peat funk. Peat funk. Yep. I feel like I'm getting more sweet notes over top of the peat. See, I'm getting less peat this time. Yeah, uh, yeah. More peat, rather, this time really? than I did on the last but one. I thought the name of the band was P-Funk. But if you insist it's Peat Funk, then okay. <laughs> I think it smells really good, though. Mm. It does smell good. It does taste good. And the nose blends well with the palate. I felt that the palate was a little bit bitter compared to the previous one. I think I like the nose better, though. Glass C. Mm. This feels like a... Somewhere in between glass A and glass B on the nose. A little melony. Ooh. It was sweet on the palate, a little bit of peat, a little bit of smokiness, a little bit of that like iodine. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and move to D to then. D. I will say these four are all surprisingly similar compared to what I was expecting. See, I'm, I'm actually thinking the opposite. I think that there's a greater range of notes than I was expecting. Yeah, I, I'm noticing vast differences. I thought the nose on D was kind of bland, but on the palate, more fruitiness. I'm picking up salt on D as well. Yeah. A clean saltiness. Not so much brine, but like... Like table salt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Coarse pretzel salt or something. As it lingers, almost a cocoa powder note on the end of D too. More the powder and the bitterness of the cocoa powder, not like mm-hmm. sweetness. Yeah. Okay, so those were our preliminary comments on whiskeys A through D, but and we're going to go through D through A. But before we do, if you like what we're doing, if you give us a like down below, give us a comment right now before you watch the end of this video on which of these whiskeys you like the best. If you have any other whiskeys you'd like to see it go up against our winners today, let us know down in the comments below as well so that we can look, for, look out for those bottles and try to get them on the show. So let's go ahead and move on then. We'll go start with glass D. And then we'll go right. th- to A. I find the nose on this kind of flat, to be honest. Going back for that second sip, a little more saltiness. Much thicker the second time around. Yeah, on the palate, it does seem a little bit thicker. Glass C. Hmm. Compared to D, that one is just so much sweeter on the nose. I'm not commenting much on noticing. I'm just kind of savoring. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also not commenting a ton. I'm trying to comment to fill in space. I find this one to be caramely on the nose. They all have similar notes. Like, they're all clearly the same type of whiskey. So they're all, they all have similar notes, but this one, it's just like the highlighted notes of each. Yeah, this one has, has almost like a tropical fruit punch palette to it. I can see that. Like drinking... Fruit punch Kool-Aid or Gatorade or something. You may meant, note that we commented a little bit on smokiness towards the beginning of this. We haven't commented as much as we go in further. Because since these are all peated whiskeys, those 
notes are not going to be the ones that stand out to us. It's going to be the underlying notes, not the ones that are really bold and upfront that are going to be noticeable. I am making notes on my own about like a, a smoky rating. Like yeah, I yeah. I'm noticing more smoke in some than others. Right. Yeah, yeah. But that's not going to be the thing that like necessarily jumps out to us the most. Like I've noticed right. smoke in all of them, saltiness in all of them. Right. Yeah. But it's the highs and lows, the other notes that are complementing that, that are really going to separate the the pack. Here. Exactly. I think. Personally, it might be the smoky rating that brings one over top of another. All right, glass B. Still really sweet on the nose for me. Sweet, caramely, popcorny, typical scotch. Oh, a little more salt now, though, on the palate for me with the spice. Mm. Maybe like a what I think you've been calling white pepper. Glass A. You get a little more fruit notes on the nose for this one. I'm almost smelling that iodine now that you've mentioned it. All right, so we've gone D through A, gave some notes. We're going to spend some time individually going back and forth between our different contenders for all different placements, doing A, B contesting between ones that may not usually get A, B tested, such as A and C or A and D, et cetera, et cetera. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We'll be back with you once we're done with our results. We are back for the results. We're going to talk about what we put in first, all the way to the fourth individually, and come up with a total best rank and see what we got, and then also do reveals. Uh, so let's start at the bottom. Let's talk about last place. I have D. I have C. I have A. So what do you guys have in third place? C. C. D. So what do you guys have in second? D. I have A in second. I also have A in second. And then first, B. 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 So B definitely gets first in this. Yeah, it, that is a clear-cut winner, which is good. <laughs> so A has gotten two, two, and four. C has gotten four, three, and three. And D has got three, four, and two. It's tight after first. Yeah, yeah first is very clear. D, C, and A, I was swapping those back and forth like right. crazy towards the end. Right before we went, I was like, mm, maybe A and C need to switch. I'm not sure. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> these three are just need to be completely switched. I don't know. I mean, not just among us, but within myself, there's not a clear cut yeah. Yeah. second, third, fourth place. C does get last place. I'm going to go ahead and reveal C. Huh. Oh, no. I love doing these because we always get results <laughs> that we never expect. Famous Growl Smoky Black. Oh, no way. Which I believe had the highest ratings of I, all. The I want to say it was the. I want to say that was our favorite in the blind review of it. Go but on. we're not saying it's junk. No, no, no. It's no, good. I'm not saying not. it's junk here during this. We're just saying that of the today, of the four of these, we all liked B better. Here, I also want to stress that he said today, which is important. Yeah. Today it lost. According to our numbers, according to like if we use a system to give points and stuff. The next one up would be D. D was, this one makes sense to me, Kinsey. Things are right in the world again. Although I am a little sad that Smokey Black lost to that. Yeah, and you keep the second, which I know we all hated this whiskey when we drank it blind. What swapped these two for me for sure was the iodine flavor that both of us picked up on, on, the, on the famous grouse. And that was just something I wasn't looking for today. I wasn't looking yeah. for that medicine-y flavor profile. For me on D, the nose was just so plain and bland. And then the flavor was not just not, for me, it's not as good as the other three. By the numbers then, our second place winner, our runner-up is A. Again with A, I noticed a medicine-y finish to it. And again, that's just not something I'm looking for today. Yeah. All right. So A was Teacher's Highland Cream. Which we also hi rated highly. Well. We really liked it, and that one also was first place for me for most of the time. Which means that number one is Johnny Walker Red Label. This is not what I had expected. I, I can see the comments yeah, now see, already. I, I knew it was going to compete. Yeah. I thought so too. Yeah, like I knew it would compete. I didn't expect it to win for us. According to our poll that we did on which ones people thought we were going to win, everyone thought it would be teachers. 
Famous Grouse, Kinsey, Johnny Walker Black. Nobody thought a Johnny Walker Red was going to win, according to our poll. Hmm. No votes were cast for it. I'm wondering if a lot of that is because Johnny Walker is such a commercialized brand that people as a whole tend to dismiss it and get a little bit of bias to it. It's a common household name because it is a decent whiskey. Oh, absolutely. And, yeah. I think I mean, there's definitely something to that. I I personally have that same kind of bias against Jim Beam brands because Jim Bream is such a household name that I'm just like, well, everybody gets that. I don't want to drink it, you know. <laughs> but when they make good whiskey, you got to acknowledge yeah. that. Yeah. And I think a lot of people also just see Red Label. They're like, oh, for a couple more dollars, however much, I think it's like eight more dollars here in Pennsylvania. You can get Johnny Walker Black, which people like a lot better. I do. But yeah, I think Johnny Walker Black is actually better. It's slightly smokier, slightly peatier than Johnny Walker Red. Yeah. yeah. For the price point, I'd rather get a smokier, peatier scotch. Right, if, if that's the thing you're into. Although, if you're buying scotch, that's probably something you're into. At least yeah. a little bit. Yeah. One well, other comment. Famous Grouse was the only whiskey that in our blind reviews we actually called out as being peated. So, with that then, Johnny Walker Red goes on our top shelf. And then Teachers will go in the runner-up Right along with what I would consider a lot of re other really good bottles of whiskey. And these two will be relegated to our loser shelf. Well, that's all we have for today. If you like what we're doing, please hit the like button down below. I am looking forward to hearing reading your comments and how wrong we are. Until next time, let's go ahead and do our traditional mix of all four. This might be the best tasting mix we've had. Until next time, may the winds of fortune sail you. May you sail a gentle sea. May it always be the other guy who says, This drink's on me. me. No, that's good. Quite pleasant. That is quite pleasant. Yeah. Yeah.